The 56 inch mop peeler is an energy saving ceiling fan with a modern style design that is perfectly suited for large rooms. We'll show you how to install the fan with step by step instructions. If you would like to skip ahead to a specific part of the installation, pause the video and use this menu for reference. Otherwise, continue watching for the complete installation guide. Copy the UPC number located on top of your motor assembly in case you ever need to contact customer service. If you feel that you do not have enough electrical wiring knowledge or experience, have your fan installed by a licensed electrician. Installation requires an installed ceiling outlet box that is UL listed and acceptable for fan support of up to 35 pounds. You will also need a Phillips screwdriver a step ladder, a wire stripper, electrical tape, and about one hour to install the fan. With your equipment ready and your new ceiling fan unpacked, you can now begin the installation. Before getting started, turn off power at the breaker. First, Prepare the canopy assembly by twisting and removing the canopy ring. Then unscrew the two non-slotted mounting bracket screws. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. The hanger bracket can now be removed. Prepare the motor coupling by removing the clevis pin and cotter pin. Loosen the two collar set screws. On the hanger ball downrod assembly, loosen the set screw and lower the ball off the downrod. Remove the cross pin and the ground lead. Next, assemble the fan by feeding the motor's wires through the downrod and inserting it into the motor's collar. Align the holes on the downrod with the holes on the collar, then insert the clevis pin and cotter pin. Tighten the two collar set screws. Slide the coupling cover, decorative frame, canopy ring, and canopy onto the downrod. Then carefully reinstall the hanger ball. To attach the mounting bracket, loosen the two screws in the ceiling box and pass the supply wires through the center hole. Then slide the bracket into place over the screws and tighten them securely. Carefully bring the fan up to the ceiling and slide the hanger ball into the hanger bracket to hold it up. The tab on the mounting bracket will need to align with the groove in the hanger ball. Now you can make the electrical connections. Combine the ground wires from the ceiling box, down rod, and hanger bracket together. Then connect the white wire from the motor to the neutral wire from the box. Finally, connect the black wire from the motor to the hot wire from the box. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place. Then push the wires neatly into the box. Finally, assemble the canopy by sliding it up to the ceiling and twisting it into place over the two screws on the hanger bracket. Insert the removed screws and tighten all four securely. Slide the canopy ring over them and twist to lock into place. The fan is now properly mounted and the rest of the fan body is ready to be installed. The fan motor assembly is shipped with rubber packing mounts to prevent movement during transportation. Use a screwdriver to remove all packing mounts from underneath the motor assembly. Attach the blade to the blade arm by aligning the holes and inserting the blade screw securely. Repeat the process for the remaining blades. 
Install the fan blade assemblies by aligning and tightening the pre-assembled blade arm screws onto the motor. With the fan blades attached, you can now install the light kit. Remove one of the screws from the mounting ring and loosen the remaining two. Bring the mounting plate up to the fan, align and twist the plate over the loose screws, then insert the removed screw and tighten all screws to secure it in place. Remove one of the screws from the mounting plate and loosen the remaining two. Bring the LED light kit up to the fan and connect the two pin wire connectors. Align and twist the light kit over the loose screws, then insert the removed screw and tighten all screws to secure it in place. Bring the glass shade up to the fan and align it under the motor. Press and turn until snug. If you would like to operate the fan without the light kit, an extra mounting plate and cover are included with the fan. Install the mounting plate in place of the light kit. The installation is complete and the fan remote is now ready to be programmed. Before the fan can be operated, it must first learn the remote's unique frequency code. To begin the learning process, open the battery compartment of the remote and insert the included batteries. Restore power at the breaker, and within 30 seconds, press and hold the on-off button. If done correctly, the fan light will flash twice and the on-off button can be released. The fan is now ready to operate. The on-off button toggles the fan function. When toggled on, the fan will begin to rotate and the green LED bar will reflect the current speed setting. The speed setting can be increased or decreased with the plus and minus buttons. The light button toggles the light. Use the up and down arrows to increase or decrease the luminosity of the light. Comfort Breeze is a feature that produces a natural feeling breeze by alternating between lower and higher speeds. To activate it, press the Comfort Breeze button. Each press increases the maximum speed that the fan will alternate through. The Warm and Cool Weather buttons change the direction of the fan rotation. In Warm Weather mode, the fan will spin counterclockwise and push air downward to create a cooling effect. In cool weather mode, the fan will spin clockwise and pull warm air off the ceiling. Note that the fan must be on before pressing the warm or cool weather buttons. The timer button automatically turns the fan and light off after a certain amount of hours have passed. Pressing the button allows you to select a 2 hour, 4 hour, or 8 hour delay. Pressing the button a fourth time will deactivate the timer function. Congratulations! You are now ready to use your brand new ceiling fan. Want more details or have any questions? Just call the customer service number in your owner's manual. Thank you for watching!